What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have unfortunately heard some bad news about Battlefield 2042 in that it has been delayed until November 19th officially as of just a few hours ago. Just my luck, I had literally finished a video on some speculation about this topic, was ready to upload it and then got a Twitter notification about this news, but in a way that is actually a positive as weird as it sounds and I'll get into what I mean later on in the video, but for now I'm just going to go through my overall thoughts on the news. So like I said, the game has officially been delayed until the 19th of November, almost exactly exactly a month after it was initially planned to launch and it's not confirmed as of right now but I'd assume that means the early access will launch on the 12th of November but just take that with a grain of salt. Now DICE went on to say in their statement that the pandemic has affected their progress with the game. They initially thought that they might be able to get back into the offices in the couple of months leading up to launch but with the pandemic not really slowing down obviously that would have changed and that only slows them down if they can't be in the offices and are instead working from home still. So it's definitely an understandable reason given the current state of the world. This is is obviously not the news we wanted to hear the game was getting so close to launch and to have to wait that extra bit longer is definitely not ideal however there are also some positives to this as well firstly the game being delayed only means it'll be of a higher quality when it does actually launch I personally would much prefer a polished game over a rush game even at the cost of a longer wait and so although it does obviously suck we've just got to look at the positives here as crying about it isn't going to change it at all the other great thing is that with the game being pushed back that actually means that the beta might actually allow them to implement some needed changes as well. So I think the beta will now be a little bit more useful for DICE who could actually lead to an even better finished product too, giving them an extra month but then also giving them much more feedback from the players that they wouldn't have been able to implement in time if the game was launching next month. So there are kind of two positives in one there with the game being delayed. Now as much as I'm okay with the delay, I do think that EA has done a pretty bad job so far of communicating stuff like this to us the players. And honestly this has been one of their weakest areas for years now and unfortunately that doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. I know that there's much more that goes into these things than a simple tweet saying it's delayed. They need to figure out whether they need to delay it. They need to find the new release date and confirm that internally. They then need to reschedule everything and make sure that the new date is viable. They need to figure out the best approach to letting everyone know. They have to draft the message and get it approved multiple times over and then also find the best time to actually announce the bad news. So there's a lot that goes into this. I think a lot of people think it's pretty simple, but they don't just agree to delay it at 9am on Monday and then have a tweet out there at 9.05 on Monday morning. Now, all of that aside, that doesn't mean that they can't communicate a little bit better. It's something that honestly EA has been notoriously shit at for years now. And I think if they just work on communicating more and becoming more transparent, that'll only do good things for the company and for the play base as well. Now, I have seen a lot of chatter on Twitter and Reddit that this is terrible news for the game and it means it's going to be a mess and all these kinds of things. And while I do definitely understand the worry and I can see where that's coming from, I personally don't think we have any reason to worry just yet. People are comparing this to the launch of Battlefield 5 where it was obviously delayed as well but the huge difference is that there wasn't a pandemic back then. Battlefield 5 was delayed because the game simply was not in a good state for no other reason than that they fumbled the ball on that game and the only thing that caused that issue was DICE. With 2042 however the thing that is causing these issues is a global pandemic in which we've seen countless other AAA games being delayed some for over a year and so a delay of only one month in these current circumstances really isn't that big of a worry for me personally and if the game launches in November and it's an absolute mess then it was going to be a mess anyway and until this delay no one was actually saying that. I've honestly only really seen like positive stuff about the game so far in terms of what we've actually seen, the trailers, the modes, the small bits of gameplay. Everyone that I see on Twitter and Reddit and stuff they seemed pretty happy with that and until the delay it wasn't an issue so like I said if we were excited by the stuff that we have seen then the delay isn't going to affect that. It'll either be good or it'll be bad and it would have been very similar regardless if it dropped in October or in November. Now, if they delay the game again, or if we see some gameplay that just looks terrible or something, then sure, I might change my stance on it and I might start to get a little bit worried. But at least for right now, as I'm recording this, I am not worried at all personally. And I just hope they do begin communicating a little bit better in order to keep us in the loop. As for me, that's the area that I think needs the most work. I will, of course, keep you guys updated on any more info as the days roll on. We will be hearing about the beta sometime soon, pretty much within the next couple of weeks at the absolute latest. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for more. That is going to do it for this one though guys. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. If you guys want to support the content that I make here on YouTube then do consider becoming a channel member but with that being said thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there on the battlefield.